everybody, this is Jamie the Board Game Man. I am so excited to finally do a review on this game. Thanks to Matt Wilkes, he decided just to say there's a game out there that you stand in line. And it just piqued my interest. I looked into it. I ordered this game from Poland. It took about three weeks or so to get here. And it finally arrived. The game was completely in Polish. So I actually had, luckily, Board Game Geek has templates on there where all the cards are in English. So what I did was I took a flash drive, went ahead and saved all those files onto a flash drive, and then today I went over to Staples, which I'll have a little, uh, I'll have a little video at the end after I show you how to play the game. Um, a little video of me going to Staples and getting all done. I didn't take any videotaping inside Staples, but I am so pleased how the cards came out. So I was able to print them out on like cardstock. But uh, I think I should, probably should have got a little thicker cardstock. Maybe I might get them uh, laminated, maybe. I think I might have to do that. But anyway, um, yeah, I, it started this whole craze, and I just I can't wait to play this game. I have yet to play it yet. It is Kolika. Now, that's the, pronounce, the pronunciation for the game. I thought it was Koljika or some other name, but then I saw some people um, say, no, it's called Kolika, that were from uh, Poland. So I just want to make sure I got it right. So Kolika, this is from 2011. You can only get this in Poland. So, like I said, I actually got, got this through eBay. And, uh, like I said, it came about three weeks. But make sure that when you order this game, unlike me, there is an international version. The international version will have six different languages in there. And in the instruction booklet, um, they actually have stickers in there. And you can place the stickers on the cards over the uh, the, the Polish language. Because mine was strictly Polish. Everything was in Polish. And it's kind of cool in a way. It's authentic. and that, That's how I look at it. It's authentic, you know. So what I all, all I had to do is I just went to Staples, went ahead and printed them on uh, cardstock. I cut them all out. And like you see at the end of the at the end of the video here, I'll add that at the very end. But anyway, my friends, enough of me talking. I really want to show you how this game works. Um, and just a little thing. It, it This game actually was made off a true story. It's actually... Uh, Communism uh, took over in Poland in the 1980s, and this is based off of that. So it's it's a cool game, but then you really sit back and you go, oh my god, this was actually real, real life. This really happened, where you send family members to different stores just to get food or you know clothing and whatnot, and the jostling back and forth in line. The cars that you see in the game were actually things that happened. Like, oh, you have a baby in your arms and you want to go to the front of the line. That actually happened. People would actually borrow babies or kind of rent them just to have them in line so they can get in front of the line. I mean, it's, it's oh, my God. So it's sad, but for them to make a, this is actually supposed to be a learning game. Um, so they actually, you know, the kids would actually play this game and actually learn how it was back then. So just fascinating. And if you look in the instruction booklet, the last quarter of the, the instruction booklet actually has a history of that. And anything with history or anything like that, I go nuts over. So I loved reading the history of this. So that's just a little version of what it's all about. There's a lot more in the instruction booklet. I highly recommend you get this game. It's very, very, I mean, it's, I don't know how unique it is, but I know there's, you know, there's some other Q games and whatnot. But anyhow, let's get to the gamers table and I'll show you how to play. Everybody, uh, here we go with Kolika. So here's the board game. It folds into fourths, and it folds out just like this. It's like a, a store, uh, five different stores, as a matter of fact. And then you got the market down here. So I'll put this right here. And you also had the delivery trucks on the side. These actually fold in half here. You got five different uh, delivery trucks. So you're going to go ahead and set this right here, off to the side of the board. Okay. Now you have different colored meeples. It's a two to five player game, so they have up to five different colors. I'll go ahead and show you these here. Here are the meeples that come with the game. You got yellow, red, blue, green, and brown. Five each. These are your family members. So let's go ahead and do blue, and I'll go ahead and do green. We'll put these three other colors aside. 
And you also have these cards that go to each player. Um, so we'll go ahead and take, uh, we're going to do blue and green. So I'm going to take brown, yellow, and red off the board. Take these off the board here. Put these off to the side. And these are your player, these are your queuing cards. Each player has the same cards. So you get 10 each, and e there's the same for each player. And let me go ahead and show you what these are. These are the cards you'll be playing throughout the game. So you have delivery error. It says transfer one piece of merchandise to the neighboring store. Then you have, this was not your place, sir. It says you have notified that someone quietly squeezed in the queue in front of you. Move your pawn up one place. So that's one of them you can use. You also have lucky strike. And this says an acquaintance had to pick up her child from kindergarten and let you take her place in the queue. So in this case, you can move your pawn into second place in a neighboring queue. So that might be coming handy. And you also have mother carrying small child. You have borrowed someone else's baby and are entitled to being served without queuing. Move your pawn to the front of the queue. That is a huge card there. Then you have one that says under the counter goods. A shop assistant you know sells you merchandise before the opening of the store. If you are first in line, take your purchase home immediately. That is a pretty darn good card. Then you have friend in the workers' party provincial company. A friend has tipped you off about the delivery schedule. This is when you can peek at the top two delivery cards. So that's a pretty, all these cards are pretty powerful in one way or another. Then you got criticizing the authorities. This is a big one. Someone in the queue publicly criticized the authorities. While the militia was checking his documents, others jumped ahead in the queue. Move another player's pawn two players back. So two spaces back. So there's that. You just got a couple more left here. Increased delivery. Extra merchandise has been delivered to the store, causing excitement among the queuers. So add one more piece of merchandise to the store, which just had a delivery. So we'll go over that. Then you also have closed for stock taking. It says place this card on top of any store during the whole round, the store will sell no merchandise. So that is, uh, so that, you know, of course, if your other player is in front of the line, you can just shut down that, that store right away and they can't get any over there. So that's, uh, whew, yeah, not good. And then the last one is community list. A community list that entitles people to certain places in the queue has been drawn up. So what this, this is a very interesting one. You pick up the whole entire queue between your two fingers and turn it back to the front so that the last pawn is now first. So you literally take the queue, all the people in the queue and go whoop, and turn them around. So that's pretty interesting as well. So those are the 10 cards that every players have in their hands. So I wanted to go over those with you. So we'll do the blue player has that and the green player has those. Okay. Then you also have the shopping list. There's five different shopping lists to choose from. I'll go ahead and just take the top two here. And what you're doing is it's showing you what different items you need to shop for. There's five different items. So I just showed you the five different trucks that are here. You got toiletries, you got clothing, you got furniture, appliances, and food. So those are the five different things that you're going for. So you can see on the shopping list here, for this list, I need four toiletries, three food, two appliances, and one furniture. On this one, you got I have four things of food, three appliances, two furniture, and one set of clothing. So we'll do player one is this, player two is here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your meeples out here. I'm going to go ahead and take, let me put this back up just a little bit. That way we can see a little more so I can place some things up here. Put this back here. Slide this up a little bit. What we'll do is we'll put the families down here. So we're going to put the five green meeples here. Okay. And then we'll put the five blue meeples down here. And these are your family members that will be going to be waiting in line. Now, all different kind of lines. They're actually pretty nice. These are actually pretty cool. Let me take these out of play. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place all these items on the delivery trucks. Now, depending on how many players you have, depending on how many cards you have. So I had to take quite a few of these out because I'm only doing a two-player because it is a two- to five-player game. So you're not going to have as many of these as you normally would in a five-player game. Okay. So what we'll do is these are all the furniture. So we're going to put the furniture in the furniture truck. Here's the appliances. We're going to put the appliances in there. Food goes on the food truck. 
clothing goes on clothing and the toiletries go on the toiletries. And then what you'll do is you're gonna put one of each, you know, one of each of these cards into the market, okay? So we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five. These are the different days of the week. You're gonna have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And how do you remember that? You're gonna put this marker in there. Let's see if I can get him out of there. Here's this dude. He is the wood looking dude. He's brown, well, I can't really say brown because we do have a brown player. But this is this dude here. He's gonna go right on Monday. So that's gonna, how you're gonna to keep track of what day of the week it is. And I know he has a certain name to him. Uh, the Market Trader Marker. So that's, that's exactly what that is called, the Market Trader Marker. Then I'll discuss what this is about in just a moment. Now, you also have, these are the product delivery cards, and this is gonna tell you what deliveries come each day. So what you do is you'll kind of shuffle these up, and so on, and we're gonna place these right here. Now you see here it says two, if you have a two player, you only use one card. If you have three or four players, you're gonna put two of these cards out. And if you have a five player, you put three of these cards out. Since we only have a two player, we're just gonna bring out one card and we'll, we'll discuss that in a second. Okay, and then after the queuing up, I'll discuss what these little black guys are. These are spectators. And what they do is when they're in the front of the line, they take the merchandise and put it into the market. So, but we'll, we'll go over that in a second. Let me go ahead and grab the first player marker that's in here, which is this gray cylinder uh, piece. And that only shows who the who's playing. So, say first player is blue, first, you know, this would go in front of me, and as soon as my turn's done, you'll go to player two and so on. This kind of keeps track of who's who's the first player that's playing that round. Okay, so we've got the blues right here. Actually, let's, let's put these down here. So we're gonna put the blue meeples as player one. I'm gonna put their cards here. We'll put the lovely cards I just made from Staples. See, these worked out pretty good. I cut them up and all that good stuff, so they came out pretty good. So I'll put these off to the side. Okay, so player one is gonna have their shopping list. Player two is gonna have their shopping list. And I believe we are just about ready to go here. These are the other shopping lists. So let's get those off the board. And player one's gonna be blue. And I'll put the spectators over here. We're gonna put those, these guys go in the back of the lines after you queue up. Okay, I'm gonna take these guys out, put these right here, and so on. Okay, so I had to print these up too, because these were also in Polish. <laughs> these are like your cards to kind of let you know the daily sequence of activities beginning each day. So it kind of helps you out as to what you do every day. So this is pretty much the setup of the game. You're gonna put one of each item here, or on Monday, you're gonna put the delivery cards, or the, I'm sorry, the product cards here. All the delivery trucks are full, and here we go. So I'll go ahead and show you how this works. So you have the daily sequence of activities. This is what you go by every single day you go in this order. So first of all, the number one thing you're gonna do is queue up. So what you're gonna to start to do is you're gonna take turns putting one of your family members in a line, and you can see it does have the toiletries here, has the food, has the appliance, has the furniture, and then the clothing store. So you see all the different clothing stores. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your shopping list and see what you need. So in this case, see I have the most I need in toiletries, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my blue maple in the toiletries line. So I put them right here. Actually, I put them right on the arrow there, okay? I'm done with that turn. Now the green, player two, is gonna do the same thing. They're gonna look at their shopping list they're going to say, well, you know what? I have a lot of food. I have some appliances I need to get. I'm going to go ahead and put one in the food line. So what you're going to do is green's going to put one in the food line. There we go. So he's first person in the food, of the, uh, food line. So player one is going, going to go back to player one. Player one's going to go, okay, what do I need secondly? I can Now I can put another meeple in the toiletries if I want, or I can put them in any one of these lines. The only line I don't really care for as of right now would be the clothing line. As you can see, I don't have any clothing on my shopping list, but that can change later on because uh, like, you know, you'll see later on, I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the food line as well. So I'm gonna get my blue meeple, I'm gonna stand right behind the green player there. Green's gonna look at their shopping list and they say, you know what, I need an appliance. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the appliance line. So your second meeple will go over here in the appliance line and stand first in line. 
back to blue. So that's what you're going to do back and forth. The blue, let's see, blue will go into, let's do another toiletries here. Green needs furniture as well. We're going to put one in furniture. Then we got blue over here. He's going to go into, let's see, well, I don't need any clothing. He's going to go, I need. I do need some uh, food again, so I need a lot of food. Green's going to go over and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go into clothing. Because these are face up, so we do know what we're shopping for. And she's a probably, you know, the player two is going to notice, oh, he doesn't have any clothing, so I might as well go on that line. Blue is going to go for his last one, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the uh, appliance line here. And green is going to go ahead and go into, let's see what she, uh, player two needs here. Player two doesn't need any toiletries, so player two is going to go ahead and head over here to appliances. Okay, so there you have it. So now we've queued up. That's what you're pretty much doing. The, excuse me, and the first step is you're putting all your people in line. Now, right now, we don't know what's being delivered in what store yet. So that's what's, what's kind of cool about this, is you don't know yet what's going to be in what. So now what you do is you're going to take your, your three cards. You can take this at the very beginning before you queue up if you want. So you're going to take your top three cards for each player. So blue is going to have their top three. Green's going to have their top three. I'm going to take a look at these and see. Now these will be face down. Obviously, you know, the other player won't know what you have here. And I'll put these in front of me here. Actually, I'll put, I'm going to put both in front. That way it's kind of easy for me to keep track. So you only take the top three cards. That's it. And these are the only three cards you're going to use on Monday. Okay. So there you have it. So there's queuing up. That's the very first thing. Now, after you're done queuing up, you're going to put the speculators in there. These are the black meeples at the end of each line. So this guy goes here. This guy goes here. This guy goes here. And so on like that. Okay. So they're going to go behind each line. That's what the speculators do. Okay. So now we're done queuing up. Queuing up is done. The second one is deliver merchandise. Okay. So that's the number two thing we're going to do. So what happens is you're going to take this card here. And like I said, it's a two-player game, so you're only going to draw one card. That's it. You're going to draw, it is appliances. Now, you'll see the number one there. That means only one appliance is going to be delivered to that store. There's other ones that have two. It's like it has a little number two on there. That means two appliances will be delivered. Now, when you go on to three, four, five players, there's also a three that's on there. But since we're only playing two players, I took out all the three cards. So all we have is the one or two. So there's only 10 cards in here, so it's only going to be a maximum of two of each card in there. So this is appliance, one appliance. So you're going to put this right here, where it says two player, you're going to put it right here, okay? And now, the one appliance is going to be delivered to the appliance store. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, and it looks like it's uh, some kind of camera of some kind. I'm not sure what this is, but this is the it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's an appliance, you're good to go. So the appliance gets set there, okay? Now you're done with that. Delivering the merchandise is complete. So you're gonna look at the third item, and this means queue jumping. So number three is queue jumping. At this point, you're gonna look at your cards. This is the cards that were dealt out. So blue is the first player, because it's because blue's turn here. Blue has the, the first player marker. He's gonna look and see, hmm, what do I wanna do here? Now, as you can tell, I am second in line up here well, player two is first in line. I'm second in line. And then, you, actually, player two is first and third. So what I can do is I'm going to look at my, th my, my three cards here. And I can either, let's see here. I got the community list, which picks up the whole queue and does this, but that's not going to do me any good. I have closed for stock taking. Place this card on top of any store during the whole run, of the store, and it will close. I don't really want to do that. Increase delivery. Add one more piece of merchandise to the store, which had just had a delivery. Now, this might actually help me out a little bit because I'm second in line. And if there's a second piece of uh, inventory there, that might actually help me out. So I'm going to go ahead and use this card. So I'm going to use this card, just put over here, and another another one's going to be brought. I, you know, these aren't these are in Polish, and for uh, so I'm not sure exactly what these are. But now there is a second one that is in there. So now that's been delivered. Now, green is going to look at their cards. 
They can either move your whoops, move your pawn to the front of the queue, which they're already in front of the queue already, so that's not going to make any difference. Or what they can do is they move your pawn up one place. Now that can screw me because what she can do, the player two can actually move this green one spot and push me back a second spot. Or you have the third one here is this move your uh, lucky strike. Move your pawn into second place in a neighboring queue. Well, you don't really have to do that right now. There's no need for this one as of right now. So what she's going to do, move your pawn up one place. So that's what they're going to, this is what player two is going to do. Now this is a pretty cutthroat game, by the way. So don't try to get your feelings hurt in this game because it is, I mean, you're, you're literally pushing people out of line. You're pushing, you're, you're changing the queue around. So it's definitely not a cooperative game. <laughs> that's for sure. So I, I think I like that actually. It's kind of cool, but uh, but yeah, just to you know, if you're playing with the younger people, they're going, oh, you put me on what? You know, I mean, just a little FYI. So let's go ahead and use this one. So we're going to go move your pawn up one space. So player two is going to go. Okay, I'm going to move up one space. So you're going to put her in second position, and blue goes in the third position, just like that. Now we can go back to blue. Blue is going to look at their cards and say. Pick up the whole queue between and go like this, but that's still not going to do me any good. Or I can be really mean and place this card on top of the store during the whole round. The store will sell no merchandise. That <laughs> would be interesting. And just like that, I can close down that store just like that. But you know what? For, for this purpose, I won't do that. But if I was really playing, I would go ahead and use this because I make if you put first two, you get two there. It makes it's a no-brainer, but you know, in this game, I want to show you how what happens when you purchase merchandise and all that. So I'll go ahead and hang on to this card. So what I do is, I if I if you don't decide to use any of your cards, you just say pass. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pass. These two cards go at the top of my stack. It does not go on the bottom. It goes on the top of the stack. So when Tuesday comes around, you'll still be able to use those two cards in the next round. So you don't just simply lose them. Okay. Just want to let you know that. Now it's going to go back to player two. Player two can use any of these if they want. Move your pawn into second place in a neighboring queue. No need to do that. Move your pawn to the front of the queue. There's no need to do that because the player two already has the first two in there. So she's going to go ahead and passes these as well. These go back on top of your stack. Okay. Queue jumping is now complete. The cards have been used. The, card, the rest of the cards have been passed. So we're done with that. The next one is stores open. So what? that's step number four, okay? So step number four is they're going to go ahead, player two is going to go ahead and knock out this one, just like that. And it can also take out this one. And there you have it. And then these players move up, okay? And just like that, player two has two of the three appliances that he or she needs, okay? And just like that, that we're done with that. Okay, so the stores are open and now that's done. Now you have exchange merchandise at the outdoor market. Now in this case, if anybody was here at the market, okay, say I placed one of my, my people here, one of my meeples here. The day that the player, the market, what is that guy played again? What is his name again? I keep the name right. The market trader, okay. Say I had, say she ended up getting two of these and only needed one, okay? You can trade your over merchandise. So sometimes you might get more than what you need. So say, like I said, for instance, in this, in this, say the shopping list only had one appliance. She ended up getting two, okay? What happens is you can actually trade on that day. This is, obviously this is furniture. You can trade one of your cards for the furniture and just swap it out. You can do that if it's on that day. If you want to swap out one of these and it's not on that day, it's two for one. So it's going to cost you two of these cards to trade in for one of them that you need if it's not on that appropriate day. If it's on that day, see Monday you wanted a furniture, you want to trade one of your your uh, the cards that you don't need, it's one to one. Okay? And any other ones is two to one. And that's it for that. Okay? So we just played Monday. So that's one day in the life of Poland in the 80s. So at the end of the day, on the bottom here, it says discard the used delivery cards. So what happens is this delivery card here gets placed in the little waste basket here. So this gets put over here. Okay. 
Next, you're gonna move the market seller marker, okay? So all you're doing here is you're gonna move it. Now it's going to be Tuesday, all right? Draw queue jumping cards, that is number three. So this is when you're gonna draw your three cards for Tuesday, okay? So blue, one, two, three, so on. And one, two, three, for player two. So we're gonna have the same two cards we had in that first round because we didn't, all, all we use is one each, okay? And now these are temporarily out of the game. They get placed over here. Actually, these pl get placed here after you use them. Actually, you can put them face up, face down. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I'll just put them face down here. So once those are used, that's it, okay? Then it says remove pawns from the board, optional. Now at this point, if you, want, if you want to move any of your pawns, if you want to move any of your meeples, you can take any of them off the board at this time. Say, you know, because it is Tuesday. If you want to say, you know what, I want to move my, my, you know, my markers, you can. That's at this point here, okay? There, I don't think anything really needs to be moved here. I think we're all pretty good here. So remove pawn from board. So that's if, yeah, that's, we don't have to do that. Move the game opening marker to the next player. Okay, that's the last thing that's on the list of the day. So this would go over to player two, okay? Now, what we're gonna do now is we, um, when it says, um, you're gonna queue up. So like I said, when the beginning of Tuesday, so we go right back to the beginning of the card. On Tuesday, we're gonna queue up again. Now, I don't have any, any meeples to queue up, but player two has two of them, okay? So player two gets to place both their pawns wherever they wanna do. So for instance, okay, well, let's see here. She needs, uh, well, they already got clothing over here. Furniture, uh, let's see, how's furniture looking? She only has one over here in furniture, she needs two. She already got two in food over here. She has one more appliance. She's gonna go ahead and put one in the appliance and one over here in furniture. That would make the most sense, okay? And that's pretty much it. That's all the queuing is done because I did not decide to take any of my guys out, okay? Next one is deliver merchandise once again. So we're gonna go ahead and deliver merchandise. This is, we're gonna turn this card over. And we've got one toiletry coming up this time. So that's gonna happen there. We're gonna put this right here. Okay. And let's see, so we're gonna deliver merchandise. That's gonna be one here. So let's go ahead and put the one toiletry. And this looks like, uh, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, whatever that might be. I'm not sure what that is. I was gonna say orange juice or something, but that's not a toiletry. So this is gonna go into the toiletry right here store. All right, now we're gonna do the queue jumping. So that, uh, like I said, I'll show you the card again here. So after we did the delivery, uh, we're gonna do queue jumping. So this is when you go to your cards, you're gonna figure out what you wanna do here. So now it's player two. So it's green is gonna use, look at their cards first. So green's gonna say, hmm, okay, we're over here. Let's see, what do I want to do? Now, unfortunately, let's see. This is toiletries. Oh, she doesn't need any toiletries over here, so she wouldn't even bother with this over here. But she can move any other pawns in any other stores that she wants, if she wants. Uh, move your pawn to the front of the queue. That's not really gonna work because she doesn't have anything over here. Uh, your first in line, move your pawn to the second. We don't, eh, let's see, no. So green doesn't really want to use anything because they have the move your pawn to second place, don't need that. Move your pawn to the front of the queue, she don't really need to do that unless she wants to do it in any other of these. But I don't know if you really want to use that yet because this, this is a pretty good card, moving your pawn to the front of the queue because you don't know Wednesday, you might need that for that day. So you don't want to really do that. And then first in line, take your purchase home immediately. Over here, that's not going to affect. So she's going to go ahead and pass and not use any of her cards in this uh, on Tuesday. Blue's gonna look over and say, okay, we already got one first in line here. I can use this in any other line that I want. I have move another player's pawn, two players back. I don't need to do that. Place this card on top and close the store. I definitely don't wanna do that. And pick up the whole queue and do this. Well, I definitely don't wanna do that because the speculator will take it to the market. So uh, we're done with that. We don't have, there's nothing else we need to do since it's over here. Uh, stores open is the fourth one. So just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the toiletry I need. This meeple comes home. Everyone moves up. And we're done with that. So we're done with that. And then exchange merchandise to the outdoor market. Nobody's in line there. So we don't have to worry about that. Now we're gonna go ahead and discard the discard this. 
And moving the market seller. Now it's going to be Wednesday. Draw a few jumping cards. So we're going to go ahead and well, I might as well keep these. But let me let me get some other cards in here because I want to get some other cards in play. Instead of using these same ones over and over again, I'll do the same thing with green. Get some of these that are on the bottom. That way you can kind of show you some more action here. We'll do that. Okay. So we got the cue cards here. We got the cue cards here. There we go. And just like that, um, this goes back over to player one. And now we're going to queue up for Wednesday. So Wednesday's ready to rock and roll. We didn't use any cards, so we didn't discard any cards here. Uh, let's see. What do I need? I need... You get two food. I need... Do I have any money? I don't have it. No, I have one in appliances over there. I don't have anybody in furniture, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in furniture. I don't have anybody in the furniture line over there. Okay, so we just now queued up. This is Wednesday. We're good to go. Deliver merchandise. So we're going to find out what merchandise is coming up here. So we're going to draw this card for Wednesday, and it's one piece of furniture. So we've got a lot of ones here. So one piece of furniture. We're going to put the furniture over here. Some kind of candelabra or some kind of a lamp of some kind. So that goes there. Now the cue jumping starts. So let's see, blue is, it's blue's turn. And let's see what we got here. If you're, this one I can't use. If you're first in line, take your purchase home immediately. So if I was front, first in line, I could take that right away. In case someone wanted to go in front of the line or take, push me back or anything like that. Move your pawn to the front of the queue. That is something that I can definitely do because right now, in this line, I am dead last. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this card, move your pawn to the front of the queue. So put, I'm gonna put this here. Actually, I'm gonna put these face up. That way I can see what I just made. So put your pawn in the front of the queue. So just like that, I am gonna push these guys back. And now I'm front of the line, okay? Now Green's gonna look at her cards and say, okay, what do I wanna do here? Uh, oh, you know what we'll do this? She's going to say, oh yeah, I'm going, to I'm going to criticize the authorities. Move another player's pawn two players back. So that's what she's going to do to me. She's going to go ahead and put two players back. She's going to play this. One, two. I'm going to go two players back. She goes in the front. I go third. That happens there. Now, blue has these two. Move your pawn into second place in a neighboring queue, which I don't really want to do that. If you're first in line, take the home. I, I can't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on mine. She passes on hers. Next one is door is stores open. She's going to go ahead and take this furniture along with a meeple. This moves up here. And just like that, the day is done. Um, we're not going to exchange. No one's in, the, in line for this, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to discard the delivery cards. We're going to put this in the in the dumpster over here. Move this to Thursday. And remove pawns in the barn. And, and then this is when you want to remove, if you want to remove any pawns, if you want to put them in different lines, this is the time to do so. You can take out as many as you want. And then we're gonna move it to the next player and so on. So that's pretty much what you do is you move back and forth. Let me go over, uh, cause I know I went over these cards to begin with. This is a pretty good one here. I want to show you what this happens. So say we, 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 we did the queuing up. Let's put green. Let's see. What does she need over here? Uh, let's see. We'll put her over here because she does need two appliances. And the queuing up is done. Delivering merchandise. Now, there is one card in here I want to show you. Here it is. This card says, Friend in the Workers' Party Provincial Committee. It says a friend has tipped you off about the delivery schedule. Peek at the top two delivery cards. So if she were to use this, she can go, okay, what's going to be delivered the next two days? Ooh, food. Two food are going to be delivered. And two clothing. So now she knows the next two days what's going to be delivered. So that's, pretty, that's a pretty darn good card. So then that's when you really want, when you know that she played this kind of card... You're going to be kind of curious, okay, where is she going to put her meeples at? Where is she going to stand in line? So, if, you know, if she, all of a sudden she starts going over to the furniture, starts going over to the food, uh-huh, something's going on here. She moved both her meeples over here, something's going on over here, and then maybe you can move your meeples over there and so on. You want to keep, a, keep an eye out on that. You never know what's going to happen. 
And then this other one I was just going to show you is um, they do have this one, the increased delivery. Add one more piece of merchandise to the store, which I think I showed you that one. Um, this one, this is a good one here. Now, say it's a called delivery error. Now, this one says transfer one piece of merchandise to the neighboring store. So say, you know, the delivery was made. Say we said, okay, food was two, okay? And two foods get delivered over here. Green can say, oh, well, you know what? I kind of need one of those foods, but I have this card. Guess what? I don't, now, it has to be a neighboring store. So the neighboring store has to be either one that's next to it. So they need one of these two. I believe that what, that's what it is. So I can't just jump throw this over here. Uh, and so on. So say green, say for instance, green was in the front here and you get this delivery error and she needed one of the foods. Oh, guess what? Ha, ha, I see that you're in front of the line. You know, I can go ahead and switch this up. So what she'll do is she'll use this, move one piece of merchandise and move it over here where she's in front of the line for that too. Okay, so that's that's a pretty cool card as well, delivery error. So you can actually take either one or two depending on what it says on here. I think all of them just say one piece. And you can move it to a different store, it was delivered in error. And you can do that as well. And then you do your queue jumping and continue on until the store's open. And like I said, you just kind of... And that's pretty much how you play Kolika. I, this game is amazing. I, I, I really want to sit down and play this game. I have yet to play it. Because I literally just got these cards done in English. Now I can read them. <laughs> so, But now I hope you got the gist of how this works. And I, I really hope that uh, if you do have the game, let me know. Um, or if you plan on getting it because of this review, uh, that would be great as well. I'd love to hear from all you guys. But that, my friends, is how you play Kolika. You just go back and forth. Um, once you go through the end of the week, say you play to Friday, and then you move to Saturday, what happens is you all you do is you take all these cards, and you're going to shuffle them all up. So you'll have all, all 10 cards available to you. All these will be, uh, the, now these are only replaced every other week because there's 10 cards. So that's two weeks worth, okay? And always remember, you cannot go back through these. So you can't go, okay, what was uh, delivered already? Because remember, there's only two of each. And one's going to be one delivery and one's going to be two pieces. So when you went through the week, you're already going to know, okay, one of these, one of these, and one of these, these are done for two weeks, okay? Food, once this is done... And say if food one came up, so let's say we're playing, and two was done, and we threw that in the trash, whatever, and then next day was food one, you know after this food one, there's going to be no more food for the next two weeks, or for the next week or so. Because once this goes away, now you know the two foods aren't going to be around, you're not going to want to stand in the food line anymore because the food's done. See what I'm saying? Because there's two of each of these out there. So as soon as you know that both of them have been taken, like both foods or both toiletries or whatever, you don't want to go back over in that line. You don't want to waste meeples in that line because you know until the end of the second week. Once you finish the second week and no one has fulfilled their shopping list yet, then these get reshuffled and all of it's brand new and then everything can be anywhere. And that's how you know that. So just a little FYI on that. So, uh, But anyhow, uh, there you go. There's Kolika. I hope you enjoyed the review and the playthrough, or kind of sort of like a playthrough, at least uh, three days worth. And uh, thank you so very much, and happy gaming! Hello everybody, this is Jamie the Board Game Man. I'm actually making my way over to Staples right now, uh, just because the game Kolika that I got from Poland, um, unfortunately all the cards and all that good stuff were in Polish. So what I had to do, and luckily on Board Game Geek, they actually had uh, someone had put some templates on there in English. So I got them on this uh, USB flash drive, and uh, I'm hoping I can buy some cardstock over at Staples, and then have them print them on cardstock, the front and back, in English. That way I can actually play the game, and, uh, and then eventually I know that there's additional cards that they have on Board Game Geek that I'm really interested in. Uh, trying out a little later but at least I want to get the basic uh, cards that come with the game I like to you know play it a game you know play it a time or two and then once I get used to it I, I wouldn't mind uh, maybe at a later date 
print out or actually put them on the flash drive and take them back to Staples. And then uh, I know I also have um, the actual, I can't think of what they call that in the game too, where it tells you what you do in each order per turn. Uh, like it tells you, okay, if step one is queuing up, step two, opening up the store, step three. So I have this, I have that on here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and print out a couple of those cards as well so you can uh, you can know what to do each day, what you do. So I'm going to head over to Staples right now and see if I can get the card stock and uh, have them print them on there. And then uh, that way I can finally get this thing reviewed. Okay, I have arrived at Staples and let's see if they have the goodies. That way I can get these cards printed and do a review on this wonderful game. All right, everybody, I am back from Staples. This is the card stock I end up getting uh, from Staples to make the cards for Kolika. And I also got different colors because I know that there's a few other games I have in there. Uh, this one comes with a white, yellow, like a pink and blue, as you can see on there. Because I know I have some vintage games in there that the cards are kind of shot and they're kind of like the, um, the Patty Duke game I have in there. The red cards have all that. I think I showed you in my uh, the newest editions where a lot of them have a lot of water damage and whatnot on them. So I figure maybe later on I might have to redo those on there. And it's pretty pretty cheap. You can see how wonderful these came out. Look, I'm going to have to cut these in fourths here because this is the kind of tells you each day what you do and what order. Um, it shows on here in English. So I got four of these. I figure all I need is four. I don't want to pay another extra for just one more because I know there's five players to maximum. And you can see, I mean, these came out incredibly really good uh, i wouldn't expect anything less but you can see it came out really nice in english so i can actually read them and on the back side you got the back side that looks like just like in the game and if you looked up in the light it it, it matches pretty good so it's i'm pretty happy so i'm gonna have to cut these up into different cards i am so stoked about this so thank you board game geek for having these as a template on the uh on the site I was able to print out all five colors of all five players. There are additional cards on there uh, for like uh, for advanced. You, there's actually a lot more other cards on there. And uh, but right now I just want to kind of get used to the basic first, and then I can always go in there and print them out uh, after I've played it a couple times. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and break out the game. And uh, yeah, a little behind the scenes stuff since I made the mistake of getting the Polish version not knowing that there was an international version until after I bought that game. They actually had English stickers that you could put the sticker right over the the Polish uh, uh, lettering. So I, I just didn't realize that till afterwards. But you know what? Hey, you, you, you deal with what you got, and I'm happy that I still got the game. I, and you know what? I have it. It's authentic, and that's how I look at it. It's authentic. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the little bonus uh, feature here, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.